girls, you can read me mine. What's your zodiac sign? I'm trying to see if I start the line. What's your zodiac sign? We ain't got nothing left for time. What's your zodiac sign? Like, what's your zodiac sign? Okay, Virgo, welcome back to my channel. So you guys got a couple of spiritual messages. So let's go ahead and jump into them. So we have whatever you, whatever your um head hands find you to do, do it with all of your might. Ecclesiastes 9, 10. Okay, so you can be very gifted, okay, with your hands. You can braid, you know, you could probably do like some good stuff with your hands here. But whatever this is that you're doing, okay, do that with all your might here. This is like a talent that you have, okay? And they want you to focus on that, okay? Let's um go and read that Ecclesiastes um, verse. <laughs> and then we have commit your actions to the Lord. And your plans will succeed. So whatever this is that you're trying to build, okay? So this has a lot to do with whatever this is they want you to do with your hands. So this has a lot to do with your talent, okay? So just let God know, like, whatever it is that you want to do, okay? Pray and just be like, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. And put your, um, you know, commit it to the Lord. And I kind of feel like, you know, whatever this is that you want to succeed is going to grow and blossom here. Yeah. Okay, and this is a Proverbs verse as well. And then, um, hold on, is it a Proverbs verse? Yeah. And then we have, um, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. And this is a Proverbs verse too, okay? Um, 4.23. So, guard your heart, you know what I'm saying? Um, from people that can try, potentially try to harm you or taint your heart or turn you, you know, to a darker path or something like that or, or cause you to harden your heart. Guard your heart because everything you do flows from it. So this is your gift. Okay. So whatever this is that you're talented about or you, your talent is, it comes from your heart. It flows from your heart here. So protect and guard it with everything that you have here. Okay. Um, so the overall energy for you guys, you guys got um the eight of the eight of wands, okay? So I kind of feel like you're making a lot of moves here, okay? You moving quickly, okay? In the situation, you could definitely be communicating with somebody, but you definitely can um, moving swiftly and quickly. You could be getting some type of communication from the heavens as well, okay? Um I kind of feel like you're very determined when it comes to a situation. Um, you're very confident. Um, I kind of feel like you're in this go-getter type of energy here. Like you're making these moves quickly. Okay. Um, but you're in this determined go-getter type of energy here. You could be dealing with it. Um, a fire sign of Aries Leo or Sagittarius. So you could just have these signs predominantly in your chart. Okay. Um, But I kind of feel like you're not willing to let something in here, okay? Or you're not willing to let something stop you. So I kind of feel like something could be trying to stop you here or cause some type of destruction or terror, okay, with this tower energy. Here. Like something's trying to cause a tower or something here with you here, a destruction. This could be somebody that is trying to cause some type of darkness or stop you or block you in whatever this is that you're doing here. And I kind of feel like you're not going to allow that to actually happen. So I kind of feel like you're going to be avoiding this tower or you actually going to, yeah, you're going to avoid this tower all the way through or destroy whatever this is that's trying to cause you a tower here because you more so focus on the future. You moving swiftly. So whatever instructions you get in this from God, okay? And I kind of feel like you moving swiftly and you determined. So I kind of feel like you want to avoid this tower or knock out whatever this is that's trying to cause you, cause you this tower altogether, okay? A Scorpio or Aries can be involved here or Aries Leo or Sage, okay? But with this page of um one's energy in the reverse, okay, I kind of feel like because something is trying to stop you from moving forward in your path, okay, and block you. So this is you more so being determined and moving past and knocking down whatever this is that's trying to stop you in your path here. And you're going to be getting communication in your dreams or you're going to be getting communication from God, okay? That's what I'm saying. And this can have a lot to do with your talent or something that you're doing here, okay, Um, that you're supposed to be doing. That's going to cause you a lot of success. Okay. So. You have. We have reservation. 
you have gift in reverse, you have like live and learn, we have idea, we have mark making, and then we have origin. Okay. So I kind of feel like somebody uh is more so of adorning. Um, somebody likes materialistic things, okay. Let's just start there. Somebody has a lot of love, okay, for material things. Somebody could love their vehicle as well. Okay, somebody could be a car person, they can really love their vehicle. But somebody has a strong love for material things. Somebody could love like their materials, love the things that they have, okay? Um, and I kind of feel like whatever this is, somebody is really appreciating what it is that they have here, okay? They really love these things. And I kind of feel like because it wasn't a gift from somebody, so whatever this is, it's like something that you had wanted or something that you had you wanted or something that you had done here. But I kind of feel like you didn't receive this as a gift or something like that here. And I kind of feel like somebody needs to live and learn when it comes to a situation. So somebody could have really wanted something or adored somebody or charged somebody here, but somebody here wasn't like giving them something in return. So you could have gave somebody all this love but they could have only wanted you for material items or something like here. Yeah, and they didn't see you as a gift or they didn't ever like give back to you or something like that here. Yeah. And you could have gave this person a call and this person loved this call over you or some shit. You feel me? But it's like you living and you learning when it comes to a relationship or this connection. So I kind of feel like you learning this lesson. Um, some people is sitting here learning, okay, studying. Again, that's some sort of an idea or a business idea here that's going to hold somebody in high honor. So you could have got some type of um idea or business idea or something like that from somebody who you hold in high honor here, somebody who you look up to. Okay, I kind of feel like um this person is showing you how to build something from the ground up. Okay, um this could actually be real gardening here. Okay, or you just whatever this is you planting the seed and you starting this up from the ground up this could be a business idea or something like that but you listen to this person's advice you you see this person and you hold them in high honor here and they're going to help you or you know start planting some type of seeds that's going to actually grow okay and amount to something here Okay, and this is something that somebody could be researching or something like that because it's like ain't nobody going to give you nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like you like nice things, you want nice things or whatever the case may be here and nobody's going to give you nothing. So you have to go out and research these things on your own and come up with these ideas on your own in order for you to build things and have things on your own. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm saying here. So we have picnic, I'll pray for you and then we have giving you a gift. So, um, somebody could be wanting to take you on a date, okay, picnics can be significant here, um, you can spend a lot of time in a park, okay, or somebody could be wanting to take you out on a lunch date or something like that here, but we have, I'll pray for you, okay, so you and this person would definitely be, your free uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> so you and this person could definitely be, I'm trying to, um, I turned my phone on by accident, but you and this person could definitely be, um, you could be praying for somebody here. Okay, somebody who this is that you going on this date with or who you went this a long time with or who you be having these lunch dates with, okay? Um Somebody could definitely be giving you some type of gift or, you know, this could be because it's the holidays is coming. So somebody could be having a gift for you or giving you a gift or something like that. So be on the lookout for, you know, something like that here. Yeah. And then we have um, harmony in reverse, okay? So I kind of feel like, you know, somebody is definitely watching somebody here, okay? Um, harmony, you know? So somebody is definitely, like, watching you, okay? They could be watching you while you're getting yourselves together or whatever the case may be. But you want a harmonious connection with somebody where... Um, I feel like you just want a harmonious connection with somebody, but I feel like this person is definitely watching you. And I feel like you can feel this person watching you here. I kind of feel like you may be a reflection of this person. This person would be a reflection of you. So you and this person could definitely be like mirroring each other 
whoever this is you're connecting with. We have um, love language acts of service. So somebody likes what somebody like does things for them. You know what I'm saying? Acts of service. And I kind of feel like somebody may not be doing that or giving that here, you know, um, but that's what somebody love language is. And then we have keep an open mind. So somebody, they want you to keep an open mind about whoever this is that you're connecting with here, okay? Because this person may not be the normal type of person that you normally would connect with or deal with here, but I kind of feel like you and this person are a reflection of each other, okay? So we have, I feel nervous around you. Yeah, so somebody feels very nervous when they get around you, okay? Um, yeah, somebody feels very nervous when they come around you or something like that here, okay? Um... So we have, um, they turned out to be the complete opposite. So yeah, somebody turned out to be the complete opposite of what you thought they was going to be here. Okay, like I said, um, keep an open mind. This may be, you know, this may be the usual type of person that you don't normally get with. We have a cashier here, so somebody can work around money. Okay, we have finger pointing, so somebody is putting fingers at somebody. Okay, blaming them for something here. Okay, we have this person that's always posting all they dares on social media. So somebody always posts everything on fucking social media all the time. Okay, a few signs had this. So you may want to go look at all the other zodiac signs that I posted because some of them had these. We have um, at least like three of them had this. We have they don't want you putting them on social media. So yeah, somebody don't want you putting them on social media, but somebody always posts on all that business on social media and somebody don't want you putting them on social media. Okay. So it could be an issue about you posting somebody on social media or something. And then we have has a child um 12 years old to 18 years old. So somebody has a child that's between the ages of 12 and 18. And then we have this is only going drag you down so yeah some 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 whatever this is something is only going to drag somebody down we had years ago in the past so something could have took place took place took place years ago in the past we have folk music is here something could have took place last week something about a cancer and a virgo relationship Somebody is a redhead. We have an Aries and a Scorpio relationship is here. And then we have sucking dick for money here. So yeah. Okay, so the initials that came out for you guys this can be anybody's initials, first, middle, or last. We have a C, we have an X, we have a T, and we have a Z. Okay. And then the um zodiac signs, we have a Aquarius moon. A Virgo moon, a Sagittarius moon, a lot of moon signs, a Leo, we have a rising Aquarius, and then we have a Scorpio rising, okay? So hopefully you guys got something from this. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop your tea in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.